Today I'm going to walk you through how to measure the power output on the Cyclo G6 laser platform. Uh, we've got our power meter here, made by Newport. Uh, we have a sensor that's plugged into the power meter to actually register the output from the fiber. Uh, I have a rig set up here which is holding a special test fiber. Uh, which looks like an MP3 Pro, but actually will be used in continuous wave mode. Uh, and we have a Cyclo G6 laser platform. So the first thing I usually go through is to set up my power meter here by going to setup. And you can see that there's a zero mode, which I've already done, but we'll push zero to demonstrate this. And let's start. And the zeroing process typically takes about 30 seconds. I do this with the Petri dish already filled with denatured water uh, on the rig so that it's zeroed in the format that I'll be testing at. Once the zeroing progress has completed, then you're going to save those settings in the power meter and you'll be ready to test. So that's completed. Push save and then push exit and exit and we are ready to go so as I said the fiber is positioned in my rig directly over the center of the sensor and it is submerged in the denatured water uh, so this will give us the most accurate settings that we can have the test fiber that I have is for a continuous wave so that's what we'll be doing it at uh, we'll be making measurements at 200 500, 1000, and 2000 milliwatts in continuous wave mode. First step would be to plug the fiber in. Okay. Press OK. It's going to ask you if you have your safety goggles. Please put those on. Uh, and then we can go to setup. So in MicroPulse Off, we can take the duration and go all the way up to 90 seconds. Dial in. 200 milliwatts and now depress the foot switch and activate the laser and actually measure once we turn the laser on actually measure what the output will be so in continuous wave we should be trying to get as close to 200 milliwatts as possible once the settings dial down so we're about 193 0.8, 194. I tend to try to do this three or four times than an average, but you can see that we're just about at 200 milliwatts. So we'll take one measurement there. We will go up to 500 milliwatts again, repeating the process. So 487 up to 1,000 milliwatts. So just about at one watt, 983 milliwatts. And then at 2,000. And just about at two watts. So this particular Cyclo G6 is pretty much right on the money. Now, if we were to do this in MicroPulse mode, the first thing you'll need to do is to change the duty cycle. So our standard treatment duty cycle is 31.3%. So we can go in and turn MicroPulse on. And we can actually change the duty cycle up so that it's 50%. And this is just for the testing. At 50%, if you try to measure 200 milliwatts, you're only going to get 100 milliwatts. So the plus or minus of tolerances will be around the 100. If you go to 500, it's going to be around 250. To 1000, it's going to be about 500 because we're at 50% duty cycle. Now when you get up to 2000, you'll be measuring around 1000 milliwatts. And that's the protocol for how to measure the power output on these lasers.